How good is that Alfredo sauce? It's, it was busting. It's so good. I you want like three stop. plates of it. You will not want to stop eating it. Yo, eat it until you get fat. And yeah. it's so good to me. What's up, y'all? Happy New Year. Welcome back to Face Oven. Today in Face Oven, we are going to do the remix the remix of Alfredo sauce for pasta and all that good stuff. So for this, I say remix because the video's shorter. I don't have a fork that I'm using. <laughs> you guys won't have to hear my fork. Um, sorry guys, that was like one of my first videos that I ever did, but it's my most popular video because it is the best Alfredo sauce that you guys will ever have. And it's super easy, it's like five ingredients. Garlic, butter, it's our fat meal. Uh, heavy whipping cream. You can mix heavy whipping cream and half and half if you don't have enough heavy whipping cream, because I've done that. Um, garlic and Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. You want to use fresh Parmesan cheese. You do not want to be playing around with the shaky thing. I say it in my first video, the video that I've ever done, the video that I did with the Alfredo sauce. My girlfriend Marissa gave me this recipe. I'm always shout you out for this video because. Um, this video, I mean this food is legit. Uh, my kids and their friends and their friends' friends and everybody that comes to my house, if they had this, they're like, yo, we really won't ever buy that jar crap again because it's way too easy to make for yourself and it tastes amazing. It's actually one of the, my favorite things to eat when I or after I work out. After I have a good workout, I like to have some pasta and with the Alfredo sauce and some broccoli and it fills me up and it's wonderful. So anyway, let's get right into it. Happy New Year, you guys, 2019. Share your gift, share your gift, share your gift with the world and use it for God's glory. In Jesus' name, love you guys. Let's go Faith Oven. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and give me a thumbs up. All right, let's go. Okay, so for our Alfredo sauce, we want to start off with a nice block of cheese. It doesn't necessarily have to be triangular, but a nice block of cheese that you're going to have to grade yourself. It tastes better, I promise you guys, if you grade your cheese yourself, not pre-graded. We're also going to need two cloves of garlic, chopped or minced, however you want to do it. And I chopped mine because my mincer went out on me. You're also going to need a wooden spoon and a whisk because that whisk is going to help you mix everything together really, really, really well. So here I just have a stick of butter and I add my two cloves of garlic chopped to my pan and I get my butter flavored really well with that garlic mix it really good and then we are going to add about two and a half good cups of heavy whipping cream um, you can use two to three cups depending on how much you want but I just used a good two and a half cups so that um, for my sauce now here I'm gonna exchange my wooden spoon for my whisk because you see how yellow uh, this mixture is right now you don't want it to stay yellow like that that bright yellow so you want to mix it really well with your whisk or your fork like I like like I did before <laughs> you mix it really well just like that okay and my and right now my heat is on medium you don't want it high you don't want it low you want it right at medium so that everything is heating up and mixing well together okay so now we're gonna go ahead and add our Parmesan cheese you want to add one cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. You guys make sure you look in the description box down below for all ingredients and the measurements that you're going to need. So with the Parmesan cheese, I'm waiting for it. I'm like stirring it slow so that it can melt and get melted really good. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and add two large <laughs> tablespoons. Is there a large tablespoon? But I'm gonna add two large tablespoons of cream cheese. I like, I, you know what, I've made the Alfredo sauce before without the cream cheese, and I felt like it wasn't the same. That two tablespoons actually does make a difference for um, the Alfredo sauce, so I would say make sure that you have your cream cheese also. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and add some pink Himalaya salt, or your kind of salt, salt to taste. And then you're gonna go ahead and add some pepper to infuse a little bit more flavor. And we are gonna stir that in really, really, really well. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn our fire down to low and we're gonna cover. And we're gonna cover for about two to four minutes, okay? When you take the lid off, if you see it bubbling like this, you know, because the fire is on low, when you see it bubbling like this, this means that your Alfredo sauce is complete. Another way to tell if your Alfredo sauce is complete is on a spoon. If you dip your spoon into the sauce and you see it sticking to the spoon really well like this, that means your Alfredo sauce is done. Wham, bam, and we are complete, you guys. I hope you love this Alfredo sauce. 
It is the most popular video on my channel and I just wanted to go ahead and remix the video for you, make it a lot shorter, a lot quicker, and that's it, you guys. It's still the same recipe. It tastes great. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys love it. God bless you. And make sure to smash that notification bell for other awesome videos from Facebook. Yeah! yeah.